so I've been doing this with all the other ones and it's really fun. I thought we would draw like a self portrait. The self portrait? Uh huh. Nice. Just because, um, well, usually everyone stops drawing when they're like seven or eight. So whatever we're going to draw now, I've seen what everyone is going to be like a seven or eight year old with drawing, <laughs> which is like kind of funny. Just to get a sense of kind of like how we see ourselves and. Mm. <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. So I mean, I've been I've been thinking I need to sketch and draw and okay. paint more. So day after Christmas. Yes, the day after Christmas. So it's not like a normal day. I was actually quite upset because Trader Joe's was closed. <laughs> so that made me not like the holidays even more. <laughs> it's like stayed at home all I did was buy water. Okay. So what did you have for Christmas dinner? Chinese food. <laughs> oh, we ordered Indian food. That's probably... I had a Chinese soup. Okay. And Chinese dumplings. Oh, nice. Oh. Did you watch any good movies or anything? You know, I did my research on how to dreadlock hair naturally. <laughs> and I watched some videos. Okay. And you're planning on getting dreadlocks now? Yes. That's <laughs> awesome. Yes. I started off like trying two of them. Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, I look silly. Okay. <laughs> so then I just really did my research. And it is the best approach to just let it lock naturally. Okay. So you're just going to not brush it? Not brush it. Wash it every two days, but not brush it. Okay. I might, like, manipulate it a little bit. Because uh -huh. I don't want big ones. So it's going to be just, like, whatever my hair wants to do. And it's actually, it feels, like, freeing. Okay. And, um... It feels free and it definitely does. I'm like, I don't have to do my hair in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and you have like a little hair. wave to your hair anyway, right? Yeah. That's cool. This, this is freeing too. Like we forget because of life. We forget to take the time to like better mm -hmm. our emotion and our psych. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of it not as what it is, but as something that's foreign mm -hmm. and so it needs to be removed and so I will remove it by, yeah. by my natural, my body's natural ability to eliminate. Mm -hmm. I need to hug a tree, I decided to. <laughs> I want to hug a big, big, great tree and just like throw all my negative in there and mm -hmm. withdraw yeah. air from the earth. Yeah, I am like a hippie. Good. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Having like a, the dress is taking a while. Oh, I can use a different one. Yes. Yeah. Got. I don't have any neck or arms or feet yet. <laughs> um, I'm mostly yellow. You have like a nice skin color. I can never do skin color. I did this one. I looked like the closest. Yeah. Usually orange or yellow. <laughs> Before I even got the diagnosis, mm -hmm. my brother asked me to decide what I really want to do. Like he suggested not working for other people. Yeah. And doing what I really love. So one of the things was going to school. Okay. Because then I can learn about um Health. Like, I, I started to think one of my passions about that was health. Okay. Because I learned how to lose weight and how to, like, feel better mm -hmm. through foods. Yeah. So I went to school. Um, and then I started thinking about starting a company. I wanted to do what you do, be a health coach. Okay. And, you know, consult people in their nutrition, mm -hmm. mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. Um, through what we eat and stuff like that. So I decided the name for my company. Okay. And then I made a, I sketched out a little logo. All right. And then because I don't really, I haven't been feeling too good, I haven't had the energy to really do what I want to do. Yeah. Um, and then I found out why that's the case. And so I made a Facebook page where I just like share other people's remedies and stuff. But I'm thinking to become more um, involved, like make it more personal, this page. Yeah and kind of uh, be honest about the diagnosis and my 
recovery. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, I can just like keep building on that and eventually have my company started. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what else to do with this. Oh, look, you're a redhead. Well, yeah, I want to be more redhead. So I'm going to lighten this and then I'm going to add like a nice color to it, like a pink. Okay. Guys, I saw your Facebook pictures and you have some red redhead pictures there too. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you don't have to do more. If, you, if you're done, you're done. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, okay. Add a little more in here. <laughs> I'm going to put something. How long is it going to take for you to get locks? How long does it say? A couple months. Probably. Okay. Um, I just gotta wash my hair and then don't comb it. Okay. And don't use like too many products. Mm -hmm. And play with it all day. Like, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, just like twirl it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel it's like matting a little bit. It feels yeah. weird. And then I have curls, so they're probably gonna like take the shape of my curls, uh -huh. which is cool. That's yes, awesome. That's a good decision. I love that. Me too. I ruined my hair by chemically processing it too much. Okay. And with locks, it's like your strength. They, you know, they say your hair spiritually gives you strength. <laughs> okay. Like natives say that, and I've seen it in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be true. <laughs> it has to be. What else, what kind of tricks do you have you learned that you, you think are going to help the cancer? I mean, like, it's like I've been working on this for quite some time, yeah. all of it. And it's just about applying what I learned. Mm -hmm. This book's amazing, by the way. Oh, good. <laughs> and then you said you're going to do philosophy? Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. I'm so happy. Because I want to, I miss, I miss learning, like, in a, in a classroom mm -hmm. or whatever with a curriculum. Yeah. So I'm going to avoid college right now. Like, I don't even care about a degree. It's about self-knowledge mm -hmm. and then applying that, like, you know, a degree. I'm not looking for a job. Okay. I can be certified and be okay with it. <laughs> yeah. Also, to have some jobs, you have to take some, like, crazy courses that you're not even going to use. Right. Like, that's the point. And so, like, I was doing science. My major was science. But still, it was like, get to the point already. <laughs> they focus so much on... You know, doing math with letters <laughs> and not enough on real education. It's amazing. Like, I've always read that some people don't change for the better until something drastic happens. Yeah. And I lived like, yeah, I'm good. And then uh, many drastic things happened this year that, that could have almost broke me and it didn't. So what it, a lady said, post-traumatic growth opposed to post-traumatic stress. Like my cousin was in the army and that's what she had. But post-traumatic growth, I'm gonna become better than I was before the traumas. I like that. I like you more and more every time I see you. <laughs> Me too, I like you that's more. That's cool, like you're like, um, you know, getting dreads, you listen to TED Talks, you're <laughs> doing shit, you're standing up for philosophy, you're reading all these books. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to change really like... your thoughts. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I'm just, it's, the knowledge is given to me, like how I found you. Yeah. I love your son. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't have to stress anything and just put my thoughts. So I see it happening. I mean, mm -hmm. So many people speak about it. Like, how could it not be real? Yeah. Do you ever thought about having more kids? Yes. One. One more? Maybe. Years down the line. <laughs> okay. When I'm able to have like a home birth and grow my own foods. Okay. And my business is flourish, flourishing. All right. She wants a. I mean, yeah, of course. I want another girl, though. I mean, I don't mind a boy, but I think I want another girl. <laughs> yeah. She has a little brother, and I didn't have to have it. Oh, she does. Yeah. Oh, with your um, ex-boyfriend. Yeah, he has a mother. He just had a baby a few weeks ago. Like me in nature, being natural. And why? Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. 
<laughs> Where are you? Are you on a river floating in the sky or? Oh, there's ground here, but I didn't get to make that yet. <laughs> I am in uh, a forest or something. Somewhere deep in the woods where you can see the stars in the sky shine. <laughs> yes. Why? I want to be in nature. I'm so like sick of all this restriction. I want to be able to see the sky without going far. Yeah. My mom used to tell me about like their houses in Israel and each room was like a separate house. And when you go to the next place, it was like outside or something. And I heard about something like that in Syria as well. Like there were some rooms with no ceilings. Nice. That's interesting. Yeah. In America, we have these buildings and these buildings are like so far from the outdoors. <laughs> yes. Yeah, now you're making me feel all shallow. <laughs> so what's yours about? It's about everyday life. <laughs> Oh my god. It's my dog, my camera, the sun, my plants, the cloud. <laughs> Jesus. Um, iCloud? I, this is my iCloud. iCloud. <laughs> Should have drawn a phone, obviously, because I'm totally all like 2013. <laughs>